This is your news. Four news tonight. When the cry went up that a serial killer was on the loose, police said ridiculous. That was a year and a half ago. Tonight, some police investigators are the ones talking about a serial killer, about one person and as many as eight unsolved murders. Esme Murphy has more about the evidence and why it has taken so long for police to acknowledge it. Most of the murders have been back page news or not reported at all. Martha Ann Bacon's murder received the most publicity, largely because her mutilated body parts were found by a dog in Wright County. Today, for the first time, law enforcement officials met to discuss the possibility that some of the more than eight murders may be connected. Afterward, police refused to comment. Again, um, we see that, that because of death was strangulation. Evelina Giobi, the director of Whisper, an organization directed at helping prostitutes, has kept careful notes on eight prostitute murders she believes are related. Whisper believes police have failed to investigate these murders thoroughly. I'm not surprised, by the way, that MPD did not initiate this. Um, we've received nothing but uh, denial and dismissal from the Minneapolis Police Department uh, when we've suggested for almost three years now that these murders were connected. We've the files begin with three murders in Minneapolis in September of 1992. The last murder was in June of 1993. Giobi says the factors linking the murders include where the women worked. Many plied their trade on East Lake Street. Most of them had been mutilated, and the cause of their death was strangulation. Clearly now, police are exploring the possibility of a connection. But sources say some Minneapolis investigators disagree and believe there is no link, as this investigator told us in 1993. Is there any possibility that any of these cases are connected? Absolutely not. Uh, there are a lot of, lot of differences, and basically the, the two similarities of, of the cases for the fact that they were prostitutes and they had um, death by strangulation. And not all the strangulation was even the same. But other investigators believe three of the murders now may be linked. The big question that we really don't know the answer to is why this sudden investigative interest in these relatively older murder cases. The police are saying they've been looking at these cases all along. But Don, they aren't saying whether there is something else that has triggered their interest. Okay, thank you. Esme Murphy reporting. Today, a plan to reduce the prison sentence of some convicted criminals drew an angry response from county attorneys and others. The Minnesota Sentencing Guidelines Commission held a hearing on its plan to set less violent criminals free earlier so the state won't have to build more prison space. More space is needed if they want to lock up the most violent offenders for a longer time under a get-tough-on-crime measure like three strikes and you're out. But other critics say longer sentences simply don't deter crime. And the, and the experience in state after state